The usability testing was performed by Amir, Jeremy, Lara, and Tony. The product we are testing for Puffco is the Kobe CR898 model radio alarm. We decided to hold the test at Odegaard Undergraduate Library. The reason behind this was due to it being a neutral, public, and familiar place. The participants are undergraduates, thus we're familiar with the undergrad library. It is public and close by, which gives participants an increased sense of ease. Tested users are all UW students between the ages of 18 and 22, studying either business or computer science. We chose these testers due to their lack of experience with this type of alarm clock, providing us with the opportunity to see how a new user would interact with our product, for they mainly use their phones as their alarm clocks. The participants were asked to perform three tasks, setting an alarm for 6.30, playing 106.0 FM, then turning the radio off, and setting the clock back one hour for daylight savings. These actions test different features of the radio alarm clock and are all examples of how it would be used in the real world. The metrics chosen include time to complete the task, a quantitative uh, metric uh, to measure effectiveness, uh, numbers of buttons pressed, a quantitative metric to measure efficiency, and level of perceived difficulty, which, are, which we are measuring with a 1 to 10 scale, which is quantitative, and with think aloud quotes, which is qualitative, all to measure satisfaction. For task one, the amount of buttons pressed were similar for all participants. Everyone pressed more buttons than the minimum amount of buttons needed to be pressed in order to complete the task. The times were varied with participant three having an outlier of 111 seconds. Overall, this task was slightly hard to complete with an average difficulty rating of five, one being easy and 10 being difficult. For task two, the participants had a more difficult time completing the task. Many of the participants were able to turn on the radio, but struggled to turn it off. In addition, there were a lot more expressions of confusion and frustration. The average time to complete task was 210 seconds, which was three times longer than the average for the first task. Overall, this task was hard to complete with an average difficulty rating of 7, which was one of the lowest ratings among all the tasks. For task 3, the average times, buttons pressed, and level of perceived difficulty all went down. We credit this task being much easier than the earlier ones to the participants learning the products, buttons, and interfaces better. While the participants still generally dislike the interface, their quotes and the results of this task speaks to the product's overall learnability. Regarding design recommendations, we would suggest replacing the slider on the left side of the radio to a radio on-off button. This makes it easier for users to operate the radio and creates a more intuitive design, since the buttons on top are for the alarm clock and the left side would be specifically for the radio. Another recommendation would be to make each button have one function, as this would reduce confusion caused by the labels. For future usability tests, we would allow participants to struggle more and potentially fail. Since task 2 seemed endless, we prompted each user to try all the buttons. Finally, we would pick tasks that are less similar, since setting the alarm and time use almost the same inputs.